rikassa kai det belasan. Och vi bara talar till öron som ska höra, ögonen som ska se och hjärtat som ska förstå. Och vi bara talar till vår förstand. Var klar till att ta emot. Vi bara kommer emot trötthet, förvirring, ukoncentration. Vi kommer oss emot själiske knuter, själiske bindningar, själen som försöker att manipulera oss in i en flykt, in i en dvale, in i en försagdhet. I Jesu namn. Hör vi bara priser dig för frihet. Frihet till att ta emot. Frihet till att prisa dig. Frihet till att vara ett kongligt prästerskap som trer in framför nådens trone. Halleluja. Kirda basande. Hombala kidia sonaya. Ho shagade. Sharala mado pridianorai. Ho vi priser, vi lover, vi vill singa dig. Ho vi vill singa. Vi lover tillbörda Holy 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 ska vi bara synga ut i ondan vi synger ut i ondan Kiriana la mazaya 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 mazorias Kira la mason robla kiria sonaya Holy 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 Kira la mora pendolande lende Kira la mora bere yo na na ya na ya Holy Heli Heli a du Kongnes konge Kongnes konge Och vi önskar dig välkommen, kongenes kong, herrenes herre. Och det är gott att stiga ut ifrån vår komfortzon och gå in lika i det allerhelligaste. Hur är Jonen? Kom fram Jon. Är Jon här? Kanske han är ofta. Kipra la naya sagadia sonaya. Holy, 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 holy. Halleluja fader Tack för att detta är stedet Vår den heliga ånd faller ner för Från himmelen här För att möta oss idag Vi tackar dig Jesus Kommer ditt rike Ske din vilje På detta sted Nu fader La det vara ett heliga ånds nedslag här Vi priser dig far För kraften Från himmelen ska sätta oss fri för allt det jordiska så vi kan proklamera din seger i våra liv i våra sammanhang där vi kommer samman ska den heliga ande manifestera sig i kraft och i demonstration från himmelen vår Herren demonstrerar sin kraft halleluja vi är samlade i hans namn för att Tjene den levende Gud Den oppstandende Han som har satt oss fri Han som har gjort oss Til et tempel for den hellige ånd Halleluja Åh vi priser deg far Vi takker deg for Det besøket vi har her Først og fremst for den hellige ånd Og så for de som betjener Den hellige ånd Halleluja Åh fader Kom med ditt nærvær denne stund. Og la oss få kjenne hver enkelt i vårt indre 
att den heliga ande är er här för att möta oss herre. Låt oss höra ifrån himmelen. Låt oss ta emot. Låt oss bli betjänta av dig far. Du som är er allt i alla. Halleluja. Åh vi tackar dig. Vi lovar ditt namn den helige. Eller massandoa. Helig är du. Leprosa katolomosikia. Åh vi priser dig. Åh vi kommer till dig. Halleluja. Och vi ber om att du fortsätter att betjäna oss idag från himmelen. Tack Fader för ditt närvaro mitt ibland oss. Amen. Sharala Maya na na, kira na masan na masor de bilian na Maya na ya. Kura la masito ra pa ira langkibias, kura la masor ra baria sunaya. Holy na masor kito ra la Andora i pagazentorias, ki para nasungolonoyos, ki para santuris. Oh, we bare priest, thy father, do have for that to para santo riesto nai ki para santos holy crasandeya orda ma santo riesto nai ki para andoi desi orda ma sendi esto nai holy holy tu avarti tu avarti oh be priest ra har Holy, kira masai, ora bagazan de le bechore stanai. Kurda basenturi astona. Kiro paira sakiri anai. Ki parala noyo sokonias. Och vi bara tackar dig Jesus. Du är mellan manna. Och du är mellan manna. Du är mellan manna. Mellan oss och Gud här. Och vi priser dig, vi lovar dig. Du är Guds son. Du är den evig. Kira la masorda si, kipa kaida si. Kipra sandia sona, kur namazando ra niani, kicha la gani alonoyo mogwano si. Kurna mazindi astudai arai. Kurda baser do balakiri as. Kiro poiro la bares. Kipra santi. Kipra sandi. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Oh, we praise you. 
Välkommen till våra hjärta. Åh oh, herre vi vill spänna ut våra tältplukker. Vi vill göra vitt rum i våra hjärta. För att du i en större grad kan flyta genom oss. Mazaya 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 barala mama 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 rakiria lo ridia la maro paria ya ya oh ila maya masiria sararaya kira la mazaya marakara mazenzere balande asure Romans chapter 1 Paul said to the church at Rome I Romarna kapitel 1 så säger Paulus till Romarna I long to come to you that I might impart some spiritual gift Jag längtar efter att komma till er så likat jag kan dela med er en andlig gåva so that you can be established Så likat det kan bli etablerat Amen Amen In 2 Timothy Chapter 1 verse 6. I andra Timoteus kapitel 1 vers 6. Paul said stir up the gift of God that's in you. Så säger Gud få fram de gåvorna som är i dig. Through the laying on of my hands. Det är hans påläggelse som det fick vi hans påläggelse. How did they get the gift? Hur då fick de gåvan? Paul laid hands on them. Paulus la hans på dem. They received a gift. Dem och de mottog gåvan. In 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 14. Och i första Timoteus kapitel 4 vers 14. It says don't neglect the gift that's in you. Så står det att vi ska vansköta den gaven som är i oss. That was directly imparted into you. Som var blev direkt gitt dig. Through prophetic utterance and the laying on of hands. Genom profetiska ord och handspåläggelse. So God gives us gifts. Så Gud ger oss gaver. But gifts are also imparted. Men gaver blir också gitt. Scripture is clear that when we lay hands on, it releases a gifting. Skriften är klar på det att när vi lägger hände på någon så förlöser det en gave. We had a psalmist come through years and years ago. A, a psalmist, a prophetic uh, singer. En profetisk sanger kom till oss för några år sedan. And she laid hands on me and imparted uh, prof- uh, uh, the gift to, to prophetically write songs. Och hon la hände på mig och uh, gav mig del i den gaven och kunde skriva profetiska sanger. And within a week, I'd written several songs. Och innan en uke hade jag skrivit många sanger. Bishop Hammond one time laid hands on me and activated a gift of discernment. Och uh, biskop uh, Hammond la uh, en gång hon på mig och uh, gav mig del i en hon uh, av skällne en gav jag skällne. And immediately I began to see things in the spirit. Och i blicklig så började jag se ting i det andliga. Now I saw a lot of things I didn't want to see. Och det är så många ting jag inte ville se. And I went back and I said, put your hands back on and take this back. Så jag sa, kom och ta henne på mig och ta det tillbaka. But how many believe that there's actually spiritual release that comes when we lay hands on you? Men hur många är det som vet att det är faktiskt andlig förlösning i gaver när folk lägger händer på dig? So in our time of prophetic ministry this afternoon, we really felt like that's what we were supposed to do. Så det är det vi kände för att göra här idag. No. to lay hands on each of you and to release and 
and impart certain gifts. Och få lösa och ge dere del i i enkelte gaver. Now which gifts? Vilka gaver? We'll see. Vi får se. Amen. Because Amen. God has different giftings for each of you. Fordi Gud har forskjellige ting til hver og enkelt. And so what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way. Så vi skal bare flytte denne her unna veien. And we're going to have you come up just um, maybe a couple of rows at a time. Og så skal vi få dere opp her kanskje et par rader om gangen. And we're going to minister to each of you. Og vi skal tjenestgjøre for hver og enkelt av dere. We're going to impart gifts. Vi skal gi dere del av de gaver. Amen. Some of you will prophesy too. Noen kommer til å profetere. In a more in-depth way. På en dypere måte. But for every one of you, God wants to take you higher in your gifting. Men for hver og enkelt en av dere så ønsker Gud å ta dere på et høyere nivå. S- some of you are going to have gifts imparted. Og noen av dere kommer til å få gaver som dere you, får del i. Some of you have already got the gift in you and we just need to activate it. Og noen av dere har allerede gaven i dere, vi bare trenger å aktivisere det. And so if we could maybe have... Um, these first two rows and these rows over here the first two rows Så hvis vi kan få de to første radene. And then if you'll just stay in an at- atmosphere of prayer, attitude of prayer. Det blir i den atmosfären av bön. We are going to lay hands and impart to each of these. Så ska vi lägga händer på och ge del. Now if you if you need um uh, uh, for each group if you need translation um any, anybody? This right here, she needs translation. And just lift your hand if you need translation. Lift this one, lift and we'll make in. sure. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Father, we just thank you, Lord. Just lift up your hands. Bare thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, right now, God, we just thank you, Lord for a, an activation of a prophetic gift to actually prophesy. And the Lord says, daughter, that I am stirring up the gift of prophecy inside of you. The Lord says, daughter, that I've been causing you to see in the spirit in a new dimension. And the Lord says, daughter, that I'm going to cause you to begin to speak forth with a power and a boldness those things which you see. And the spirit of the Lord says, daughter, that you're going to see not just for the body of Christ, but you're going to also see for your family, for the Lord says, daughter, that there are keys of revelation that I desire to give you that are going to unlock the destiny even of your children and of your children's children. The Lord says, daughter, that your heart has been crying out for the revelation that would break them free. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to release the anointing for breakthrough upon you, and you're going to break them free and break them through. Father, we bless you now in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless this man and this woman. Are you married to each other? Okay, Father, we just bless this man and woman right now. Hallelujah. Father, we decree your life, your word to come alive inside of them. And I hear the Lord saying, Son, I put within you even the wisdom of God. I've given you an understanding of the heart of man. I've given you even a, a, a realization of how to implement a plan. And you're going to know how to teach and impart my heart. I loose that teaching gift right now to be able to release wisdom and to be able to give people even the, the strategies and the understandings of how to build rightly and how to establish purposely and how to bring forth things that will break open the way. Father, I loose an anointing for courage inside of this man of God that as he puts the trumpet to his lips that there will be declarations and sounds that will reverberate that the things of like vision and like heart will begin to come alive and vibrate even under the release that comes. Father, we speak right now the ability to speak peace over the things that would be raging, oh God, that there would be even a peacemaking anointing, and Father, that anointing that would bring confrontation, that would break open the way, that would release your grace to those that are running the race. Father, we decree right now, Father, that there is a capacity to be able to open the heavens upon this woman of God. Father, that there is a declaration and an anointing to speak even the word of power into the atmosphere, that Lord, Lord, there is a discernment of the things that are happening in the spirit. And so we loose that clarity right now into our mind, into our heart. We blow by the wind, the hay of God, that there will not be a confusing work that would try to somehow uh, cause her not to be able to discern. Father, we loose right now that clarity and that strength to come forth through her words now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we impart it and we loose it. 
in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, daughter, that I'm even releasing to you even the, the love and the compassion of Jesus Christ. That's and the it. Lord says, daughter, that I have called you to be one that knows how to intercede. The Lord says, I have placed inside of you an ability. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Herren sier at jeg har gitt deg en, en kjærlighetsånd og uh, uh, the, the Lord says daughter I've given you a, a great gift to know how to intercede and to be able to connect generation to generation I've made you a mother in Zion and the Lord says daughter that I'm going to cause you to be one that will teach and raise up even the, the younger women and encourage them to be their very best now the Lord says daughter you walked through some painful places in your past but I've given you a gift of joy <laughs> and the joy of the Lord is your strength and the Lord says I've given you a gift of joy to share with others now Lord we act Activate that in her. Vi det i henne we nå. stir it up now. Vi bare får det fram nå. In Jesus name. Jesus Amen. 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 Father we bless this woman of faith right now. Yeah. And the Lord says daughter I've given you a gift of faith that moves mountains. I've given you the ability to see in the spirit. And to be able to speak to things in the spirit. And to root up. To tear down. To throw down. And to destroy. I've put that Jeremiah 1 anointing upon you says the Lord. To be able to clear the pathways. So that you can build and plant. Now father I charge this woman right now God. We charge her by your anointing right now father God. Lord with that ability to even be a prophet even to the nations Lord and to be a prophet one that would prophesy even into this nation Father Lord we loose it now in the name of Jesus Father, we loose right now that anointing of grace upon this woman of God, that there would be an impartation of strength that would flow through her readily, O oh God, that the weak would say, I am strong, and that those that would even say, uh, I am unable, would begin to arise and receive even that ability and capacity from heaven. Father, she's a conduit. She is a gateway. She is a gatekeeper for you, O oh God, and that she stands at the gate and opens up for you to move in powerful ways and she shuts down even the things that the enemy has planned and says no way it's not taking place here father we loose right now that word of your power and authority that you've given for her to operate in I loose her mouth now to speak with boldness in Jesus name a new measure of faith Lord in Jesus name and the Lord says, daughter, that I've called you to be a watchman even over this house. I've called you to be a watchman for the body of Christ in this land. I've given you an anointing to watch and to pray. And the Lord says, daughter, I've broken the stronghold of fear off of your life. So that you can boldly face every enemy. Now, Father, we charge her with that watchman ability. With the eyes of the seer now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we loose these hands to sow seed in good soil. Father, I decree, uh, the Lord, that there will always be a reservoir inside of her of the good seed to share. Father, that there will be much fruit borne out for your kingdom's sake. And I declare right now that there will not be a blockage. There will not be a hindrance. There will not be that which would hold back, that which you would decree, O oh God, and that she will be one that will cause the ground to receive receive the seed with gladness father we anoint her now father even with that word in due season that people will have ears to hear what the spirit of the lord would say and because of that the overcoming church would arise the overcoming heart would arise now in the name of jesus christ
the Lord says, daughter, I've given you a gift of healing, but I've also partnered it even with a word of knowledge. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to clearly see even infirmities that need to be broken. I'm going to give you great authority over infirmities and over sicknesses, says the spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to give you great boldness to begin to move out in a miracle anointing and a miracle power. Now, Lord, we charge her right now, Father God, with that gifting, Father, to set captives free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody pray. Lord, we charge this man and this woman, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing of the Spirit of God. Now, Lord, we thank you, Father, that you've given them an anointing to get wealth, Father God. You've given them an anointing to break through the mammon systems of this world, the mammon systems, the antichrist systems, and be able to break through people's minds. The Lord says, son, I want you to know I'm going to give you wealth creation strategies the Lord says that I'm going to give you abilities to connect with leaders and business leaders the Lord says son I want you to know that I'm putting this ability inside of you and igniting it even through the prophetic anointing like Daniel had says the Lord like Joseph had father I loose it to him now and the Lord says that I've given you a governmental anointing daughter that you're going to connect with governments even like Esther did says the spirit of the Lord now father God we loose that Esther anointing we loose that anointing to even go before the king, Father God, and to begin to release even the blessings and the favor of God. Lord, we loose the favor of the Lord over this couple now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we anoint this couple now with your graces, with that fresh flow of the apostolic and the prophetic and the, uh, hallelujah, the translation. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Lord says, I put an apostolic and prophetic grace upon your life. And the Lord says, I've even done a fresh work within your heart. And I've given you a new start, says the Lord. For there was a season you labored under even an old order. And you did the best you could with what was given to you. But the Lord says, son, this is a new day of my anointing. And I put even now a sword that is sharp in your hands, says the Lord. And I'm putting armament around about you. And I'm commissioning you as a soldier of the Lord. And there is even a promotion coming in this season. When you're going to find that there's uh, an ability for you to operate on a higher level than you thought. Because I put strategies within your heart. And I put an awareness in your mind. You look and you see things that other people do not see. Du ser och du ser ting som inte alla andra ser. And the Lord says I'm going to put a cry in your mouth. Och Herren säger att jag ska putta ett rop på dig. And it's going to awaken the people for me. Och det ska väcka folket för mig. And the Lord says don't be afraid. Inte var rädd säger Herren. Because I made you a man of courage and valor. För jag har gjort dig till en man med mot. And I'm going to send you and you're going to go and you're going to come. Jag ska sända dig och du ska gå och du ska komma. And there's going to be a people ready to receive the decree that will be in your mouth. Och det vill vara ett folk som är klart till att ta emot den befallelsen som kommer ut av din mun. The Lord says I've called you as prophets to the nations. Herren säger att jag kallar dig som profeter till nationerna. And you'll be bridge builders to the nations. Och det ska vara brobyggare för nationerna. The Lord says you will go out and you will come in. Herren säger att det ska gå ut och det ska komma in. And the word of the Lord and the word of life will be in your mouth. Och Herrens ord och livets ord now, Lord, we charge this woman with courage. And we loose the spirit of wisdom and revelation upon this man and woman. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo, Father, we just bless this woman right now, Lord. Father God, thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for the, for the ministry, Father God, 
for the heart that you've given to her, Father God, to see the brokenhearted. Lord, you've given her a tender heart, Father God, that's very sensitive to the broken. That's very sensitive. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to anoint you to heal the brokenhearted. I'm going to anoint you to bring liberty to those that are bound. The Lord says, daughter, that I'm going to cause you to be one that sets captives free. Now, Father, we thank you, God, for the impartation of the giftings, Father God. The, uh, Lord, the power gifts. Lord, the gifts of the Holy Spirit to make her sensitive to the heart of the Holy Spirit for people's lives. Father, we thank you, God, for that breaker anointing, Father, that will break people out of bondage and break people into freedom now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, son and daughter, I've given you even a ministry of restoration. I've given you a heart for the hurting. And I've given you even a call to be able to cause ones that have been even on their knees to be able to arise and understand that I can use them and that I love them and that I will infuse them with my power. And you shall speak to them about how to trust again. You will speak to them how to hope and how to live and how to come alive. And I will cause you to have inroads into dark places. And I will cause you to be bold and unafraid that you will believe even for those that say uh, no there's nothing good that can take place in this circumstance and you're going to have faith I loose the gift of faith for hard cases and for impossible situations that you will look with the eye of faith and you will say why not it can be I believe and the Lord says son I put it within you to even at times uh, have that stubborn streak and have that hard head to say I just going to stay until something changes. I'm not going to move until I know that it's time and that the Lord has said it is done. And so I put that strength inside of you and I'm going to cause you to be unwavering in your faith. And woman of God, I've given you a grace to be able to work with and to stand alongside, but also to look ahead and be able to see things and say, this is the way we ought to go. And these are the things we ought to do. And it's not going to be about one or the other trying to push and press and say, I have to lead but together you're going to know together there will be a witness of faith and you will say the harder it is the better because I believe that that's where God will get the glory so father we anoint them right now and I strengthen them I release a wave of refreshing that will come upon them not only for now but for the days ahead and that they will have refreshing flows <laughs> that will come out of them like a fountain of living water again and again in Jesus name Father, we just release your anointing on this sister now in Jesus' name. The Lord says, daughter, I've given you the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of counsel. All your life people have come to you and have told you their problems. Because the Lord says, daughter, I've, get, I've made your heart a safe place for others. Even when you felt weak yourself, the Lord says, I always gave you the words of life for others. The Lord says, daughter, I'm going to give you words that are going to be like a double-edged sword. On, on one side, it'll be a word of counsel and wisdom. On the other side, it will be a, 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 a side of prophetic sharpness. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to see great fruit come for the kingdom of God. And you're going to set many people free from the places that have bondage. For I've called you as a leader. I've anointed you as a teacher. And the spirit for counsel will break many people free. Now, Lord, we charge you right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Whew, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I'm breathing upon you, son. I'm not done with you, but I've called you to work for me. And you're going to find that when you lay your hand to things, there's going to be an anointing that will come. For you will combine practical wisdom with a, a clarity of faith and heart and passion. For you kommer to combine tro sammen med hjerte og 
And the Lord says, I've given you a finishing anointing. You're going to help people not just be good starters, but know how to finish what I've called them to do. And you're going to challenge them about their character and about their heart. And you're going to cause them to step up to the higher standard. And you're going to cause them to step up to the standard. And you're going to love them. You're going to have patience with them. But you're not going to let them go until you know that they have risen up. There's an intercessor's heart inside of you. And the Lord says, because you've stood in the right positioning many times, lives have changed for good. Because you are a stake in the ground and making a claim for the Lord. <laughs> we loose that anointing right now. In Jesus' name. The Lord says, son and daughter, I've made you kingdom connectors, says the Lord. The Lord says that, that where there's connectivity, the power can flow. And the Lord says that I'm going to cause you to be connected with many spiritual leaders throughout this land. But the Lord says that you're going to know where your primary connection is, says the Lord. You're going to know where you're connected and you're going to know where the power is flowing out from. The Lord says that you're going to bring the words of revelation and life to leaders for I'm going to give you prophetic words for power. Pastors. I'm going to give you prophetic words for city leaders. I'm going to give you prophetic words for those that are leaders of businesses and leaders of corporations. And the Lord says, daughter, I put an anointing to dream spiritual dreams upon you, says the Lord. Sometimes you feel overwhelmed by what you dream, but I'm going to give you clarity, insight, and revelation with proper interpretation. And I'm going to show you how I've called you to intercede, to break the way open. Now, Father, we charge this man and woman, and we thank you, God, for faith favor and blessing that's coming to them, Lord. Father, they've experienced seasons of favor in the past, but Father God, there's a whole new wave of favor and blessing that's coming to them now in Jesus' name. And I just see God says, you're going to be a part of that release of bringing rivers into the desert that the Lord says, just because it's been dry and looked like uh, there's nothing happening, the Lord says, decree, and there's going to be a free flow of water, and there's going to be certain ones that are going to connect to you that are going to have that heart to see things happening and the Lord says there's going to be a flow I just see a freshness coming of fruit and the Lord says don't be discouraged and don't despise the day of small beginnings because new things are sprouting forth in this season amen hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord hallelujah father we bless this brother right now in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you father for Lord, just a refreshing wind that's blowing over him right now, God. Lord, that he's going to be a glory carrier, Father God. Lord, he's going to be a glory carrier, Father, that he's going to know how to stir up the glory, even in some of the most unusual places, Father. Lord, not just in the church, but Lord, out in the city, out in the community, Father. And where your glory shows up, Father, everything changes. Lord, you're going to baptize him in fire. You're going to baptize him in your glory. Father God, that there's been some sorrow that he's carried in his heart. And Lord God, that you are removing the sorrow and you're filling him with supernatural joy. Lord, you're turning his morning days into dancing days, Father God. And Lord, where the accusations of Belial almost took him out, Lord, like it almost took Naboth out. Father, we break the accusations and we release the life of God, the liberty of God. Father, that he's going to carry your glory glory and your life everywhere he goes in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. And the Lord says, son and daughter, surely the hay of God is upon you. You shall be a turnaround type of people. You shall bring divine reversals for me. And even though you see things contrary, you're not going to be afraid to say it can change. It will change. I put even an anointing upon you to be signpost and to be willing to say, this is the way. Walk in it. You're not afraid to declare truth and to be able to say that these are the things that are real and these are the things that are false and I'm going to show you how to do it in a way that can be received and there's going to be an anointing upon your life to begin to bring people into new experiences with me and where they've kind of been reserved and where they've kind of held back thinking that somehow it wasn't for them there's going to be just a wave that will flow out of you of love there will be a wave of 
acceptance, but there will also be a wave that will begin to challenge them to catch it and to run with it, to flow with it, to go with it. And so the Lord says, son and daughter, I've anointed you and you're going to put the mark of God upon people. I see where people are going to know that they've been sealed for a purpose and that the seal will be the very glory in the presence of God upon their life. And there will be an evidence that will take place. Signs and wonders will happen through you, says the Lord. Sometimes it will literally be in the weather. Sometimes it will be uh, in things that you will see and that others will see and they will know that this is me. So Father, I anoint them right now to be that sign and that wonder for you wherever they go that people will know that you are moving in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, I bless this man of God. And the Lord says that I've given you not just gifts of administration, not just gifts of facilitation, but I've given you strategies for how to break the kingdom open for nations, says the Lord. And the Lord says, son, I want you to know that you're going to build bridges into nations, says the father. You're going to build bridges through technology, but you're going to also build bridges because of the word of the Lord that comes to you. And the Lord says that there's going to be even new creativity that's coming to you. I I'm anointing you with an anointing for creativity, an anointing to think outside of the box, an anointing to think even beyond the borders, says the Lord. And the Lord says that you're going to think beyond the borders, even of your own uh, ability to function. You're going to think beyond the borders, even of your own sphere of authority. And the Lord says that you're going to be a facilitator of my kingdom, says the spirit of God. And you're going to break the kingdom open to the north and to the south and to the east and to the west. The Lord says even to the uttermost parts of the earth, some of the farthest flung nations of the earth, I'm going to break open, says the Lord, because of the creativity that I give to you to bring the gospel and to preach my word. Now, Father, I thank you, God, for stirring this up in this man, Father. I loose it to him now, Father, and I thank you, God, Lord, for the just the, the, the burning desire that he has, Father God, to be used by you. The burning desire that he has, Father God, to prophetically be stirred. Now, Lord, loose him in this, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, son, I want you to know I have called you to be a man uh, that would carry a burden and that would be willing to fulfill even my will, not just for your own life, but for others. And I've asked you to be even one that would have an understanding of covenant and how to align your life, even in accordance to how you would walk together with others around about you. And I've called you to carry a double portion mantle, says the Lord, even the apostolic and the prophetic, even been blended together to be an expression of my heart for this generation. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to give you wisdom. I'm going to give you revelation. And I'm going to cause you to be able to put your hand upon many and you shall see them grow quickly. And you shall see them catch up where they've been behind. And you're going to take some by the hand and say, we are brothers and we are hooked together even for the purposes of heaven. And I'm going to cause partners to grow. I'm going to cause ones that uh, have a heart now to know how to connect and how to flow with what is happening in this nation and even in the nations of the earth. And so the Lord says, son, I will give you strategies and I'll give you a big heart. And even where there seems like there's more to be done that can happen, you're going to see that others will come alongside and you'll have that capacity to release to them that servant's heart that you have exhibited so that they can run and not be weary and they can get the job done. Father, we anoint these hands. Uh, Father, to be effectual and even to, uh, to work in such a way that uh, things that seemingly took longer and were harder begin to be redeemed and take place so much quicker now because of the anointing that is released. In Jesus' name, we impart it to him. Amen. 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 And the Lord says, daughter, perfect love casts out fear. And I have given you an ability to produce the love of Christ. That causes people to be set free from their fears. And I'm imparting to you boldness and courage today. 
to express the love of Jesus in brand new ways. Til å uttrykke Jesus kjærlighet på enda nye måter. And I'm going to give you revelation about how to reach the hearts of some that feel like they're unreachable. Og jeg skal gi deg oppenbaring om hvordan du kan nå ut til de som virker unålig. I've given you an anointing as an intercessor. Jeg har gitt deg en salvelse som en forbeder. And you're going to pray through that anointing of love. Og du kommer til å be gjennom den salvelsen av kjærlighet. And perfect love will cast out fear. Og den fullkomne kjærligheten vil kaste ut frykten. And as the walls of fear come down, the Lord says, daughter, you're going to be a harvester of souls for my kingdom. I've given you a heart to see the harvest come in. And I'm going to make you one of the mothers of this next revival, says the Lord. You've prayed for it. And you will see it. And you will be a part of it, declares the Spirit of the Lord. Father, we loose it to her now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this man and woman of God. And the Lord says, son, I've been working in your heart. And I've been even contending with some of the things that are inside of you. You felt like there was a war going on. You were trying to figure out what I was saying. And I was saying, son, this is a new day. And even some of the old things are going to have to go by the wayside. And, and as you let go, I'm going to begin to allow even a fresh wave of my anointing to begin to be released through you. You've been crying out for this land. You've been crying out for the things that you knew needed to take place. And you've been looking and saying, where will it start? But the Lord says, it's going to start in many places at one time. But I'm going to cause you to be a fire starter with me. And you'll be one that will begin to even breathe the oxygen to the flame. And you'll say, this one is anointed. And you will begin to lift them up in prayer. And you'll begin to set a stage for them to operate with a new grace. And the Lord says, there'll be many sons around about you. And many ones that will grow and begin to go forth with the anointing that you've foreseen in the spirit for even the dream I gave to you is from me and it's uh, now a, a season of fulfillment and coming alive and the Lord says I've caused you to have that mothering and that fathering heart I've caused you to be willing to stand when it was hard and there were th seasons when you said Lord uh, it seems like all the work has gone by the wayside where is all that which would remain and I just see where the Lord says there's more than you have seen and there are one that are still going to do more than you thought uh, because you looked at them and said maybe they forgot but I just see the Lord says I have not forgotten and I see that the Lord's moving right now on some hearts and the seeds and even the hearts that have grown cold God's beginning to cause the fire and the wind to begin to move so that they're going to come alive again and even some that have got stuck in a rut of old things the Lord says now I'm going to tie them to the new and they're going to have to choose. And so, Father, I release right now the grace upon this mother and this father in Zion. And, Father, that they will be ones that will be used in an instrumental way to release the fresh things that you want to do in this day. Father, I speak over her body right now. And the Lord says it's not going to wear down. It's not going to wear out. It's not going to grow fail, frail. But there's a strength coming right now in Jesus' name right now to every part that hurts. Father, I declare pain. You leave her. Harassment, you leave her now. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her in Jesus' name. I loose her. Even she can be able to sleep at night and rest and receive what she needs of strength. Right now, there it is. There it is, Father. In Jesus' name, we speak over her joints. Loosed. You're loosed in the name of Jesus. It's a new day of your anointing right now. Right now, in Jesus' name felt that the Lord said that he was imparting to the two of you the gifts of workings of miracles workings of miracles and you'll have to work the miracles you're working them in your own bodies you're going to work them in other people's bodies but you're going to work the miracles and to see them come to pass father we loose that gift now lord we loose those gifts now loose the gifts now father loose them now in jesus name hallelujah
Hallelujah. The Lord says, son, you're a man of my presence. You're a man called to walk intimately with me. I've asked you to set aside time and to set aside the cares that try to weigh you down. You think, you analyze, and you try to figure it all out. But I've said, son, don't you know it's going to operate by faith. And so I want you to let go of some of the things that have weighed you down because they begin to compound in your mind and become too big. And the Lord says, I want you to just simply believe and breathe and receive that which I have for you. And then you're going to know and you're going to flow. That's the way it's going to work for you. You're going to know and you're going to flow, but it's not going to be a knowing in your mind. It's going to be a knowing in your heart. Faith is in your heart. So I loose his heart and I loose the gift of faith to him now in Jesus name. The Lord says, daughter, that I have called you to be a woman that knows how to inspire, that knows how to motivate, that knows how to light a fire under people, says the Lord. And yes, the Lord says that I've given you a gift that people would seek you out to be a life coach, to be one that would be able to make strong disciples, to build strong disciples for the kingdom. And the Lord says, daughter, I've anointed you with a teaching gift, says the Lord, and I'm going to bring people around about you. And you're going to begin to build them through teaching the word of God. You're going to begin to build them by prophetically speaking that which they need to hear. And the Lord says, daughter, that you're going to have an eye to see prophetically an eye to see their giftings. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to be an activator of a multitude of giftings, both natural gifts and spiritual gifts. So father, we appoint her. We anoint her right now, father God, to build strong disciples for the kingdom of God, Lord, and to be released father God in a new level of the prophetic teacher that you've anointed her to be in Jesus name oh, translation oh, hallelujah hallelujah you know I saw an anointing upon you like John the Baptist John the Baptist brought people through a time of transition and he would literally baptize he would immerse people and they would come up changed and the Lord says you're going to take people where they're immersed in my love and in my presence they're going to feel surrounded by my grace and they're going to know that this is a, a, a significant time of shifting and change for them John the Baptist declared get yourself ready prepare the way Johannes Stöperen sa förbered er gör vägen klar. And you're going to say it's time to people get yourself ready God's changing some things. Och du kommer att vara en som säger att det är tid det kom igen gör klar vägen. So God's going to give you the revelation about the timings of God. Så Gud vill ge dig uppenbaring om Guds tider. But also he's going to give you wisdom on how to help people to walk through it. Men han ska också ge dig visdomen till att hjälpa människor att gå igenom det. That's the exhortation part. Det är det extra but you're going to have the ability to bring comfort in the midst of the processes of God. Men du kommer också till att ha möjligheten till att ge dig tröst mellan den tiden. Bara lyft dina händer mot himlen. Father right now I lose her. Far vi bara löser henne. Even in her own body some of the things that have held her back. I hennes kropp också ting som har hållit henne tillbaka. Now, I lose her now in Jesus name. Vi bara löser henne nu Jesus namn. Healing and life. Healing and life comes speedily. It's hers. Oh, det kommer nog. In Jesus name. In Jesus name, in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Yes, right now right now now right now I lose her in Jesus name every part father she's going to baptize people in your love and healing is going to flow in Jesus name. the Lord says daughter I want you to know that I'm going to cause your prophetic gift to go from a little stream to a mighty river, says the Lord. And the Lord says, as you begin to prophesy and speak what I show you to speak, the Lord says, there is going to be a flow of the anointing of the river of God out of the out of your belly. The Lord says, daughter, that it's not just going to be a prophetic gift, but there is going to be healing. There is going to be deliverance. There is going to be a healing of hearts and healing of minds. The Lord says, daughter, I'm, I'm giving you a special gift to 
break people free from oppression, from depression, and from grief. The Lord says, daughter, you've been surrounded by people that have had a lot of grief in their life, that have had a lot of um, uh, oppression over their life. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to speak a word with a smile on your face. The joy of the Lord is going to break that oppressive uh, spirit. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to shift an entire atmosphere, says the Spirit of God. The Lord says, daughter, I'm charging you. I'm challenging you, says the Lord. The Lord Lord says, daughter, that there's some around about you that don't like or appreciate the prophetic gifting. But the Lord says, daughter, that I'm going to give you wisdom with your words. I'm going to give you wisdom with how you speak, when you speak, and who you're connected to. Now, Father, I charge this woman, God, Lord, with that with that fire of the prophetic anointing and the fire of the prophetic gift. Father, she's not going to back down. She's not going to back up. But, Lord, she's going to use supernatural wisdom, Father God, to be able to move forward in all you've called her to. In Jesus' name mighty name. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Father, I thank you for this couple right now. I thank you for the grace of God even upon them. And the Lord says, son and daughter, I've been working in your lives. There have been things that you knew that were not right. And I began to cause you to be able to see things even from a new angle. And I began to open up your heart for new vistas and new horizons. And even as you've made adjustments and you begin to say, okay, I'm willing to change. And I'm willing to allow the things that are being decreed over my life to begin to take place and to begin to have a place within me for the Lord says son I've caused you to walk in a new grace and you're going to understand how to operate with the anointing even in the marketplace and even in the areas uh, that would impact people right where they live and you're going to have faith for them uh, to be able to demonstrate my kingdom and I'm going to show you how uh, they can use the gifts and the anointings that I placed within them to bring influence for my namesake and the Lord says son I've been taking you through a process and it's like like retraining it's like advanced education and you've had to kind of reorient and reskill yourself but the Lord says as you have done that I've updated you and prepared you even for this season of your life for you're going to do more in this latter season of your life than you've done in your early days and you're going to know that the foundation that I've laid has been a good thing and even though it's not been without cost or pain it's been even purposeful and it's been uh, even uh, that which has prepared you rightly to be able to demonstrate my kingdom. And the Lord says, daughter, I made you a woman of grace and you've been willing uh, to walk through things you've had and you've had not uh, in your life. There have been times when you felt like uh, you got forgotten. There were things that uh, didn't work out the way that you thought and it really hurt your heart. You felt like you had been uh, betrayed and there was a, a disappointment that tried to even lay hold of your heart and you wanted to walk away. Uh, but there was also a, a love that have remained and you knew I loved you and you knew that I had called you but you didn't know how to fulfill that which was inside but the Lord says that creative gift and that heart and that passion that seemingly died for a season is coming back alive and it's going to begin to bring not only a blessing uh, uh, of fulfillment but even prosperity and even opportunities that are going to give you even open doors to walk through in this stage of your life and have even worked in the midst of uh, your family and even your marriage there's been things that have been tumultuous and you've had to talk through and walk through and you felt like if anybody knew uh, it would put you in a whole nother place but the Lord says don't worry about that worry about uh, the future in a sense that uh, look ahead and believe that I'm going to be there every step that you take haven't I been faithful all along the way so I'm going to fulfill what I have to say and the Lord says it is a new start and I've given you a new heart and you can do what I've asked you to and there is a grace that's being multiplied even now so father I loose that anointing upon them I loose that peace <laughs> to be their portion the Lord says I've given you shalom I give you the grace and the peace of heaven upon your life and when you come to the storm I give you the gift to be able to speak peace shalom to the storm and see it shift father I decree right now that they're going to go into even the marketplace and the business this arena into uh, the where people are laboring and working and they're going to breathe life and hope to people that have got stuck in old ways. We anoint them right now. Father, they're part of that new wave that you want to bring uh, into the church. In Jesus' name right now. Amen. Amen. 
And the Lord says, daughter, that I have uh, put inside of you songs of deliverance, says the Lord. And I will encompass you around about with songs of deliverance. You will release the sound and people will be set free. The Lord says that there is a breaker release that's coming out of you that is going to free people from dead religion, that is going to free people from the lies of the enemy. I put an anointing inside of you to bring truth in a way that people can receive it and the truth will make them free. Now the Lord says, daughter, that you're a very black and white person. You see things that's either very black or it's either very white. And the Lord says, daughter, that I'm going to add some grace to you. I'm going to add some mercy to you, says the Lord. And I'm going to help you to bring the truth in a way that people will be able to connect heart to heart with it. For the Lord says, daughter, there's great revelation that I'm bringing to you. And there's a great preaching fire that I'm going to bring through you, says the Lord. That's going to begin to challenge the body of Christ and prophetically bring them to a whole new place. So Father God, I charge her right now, Father God, with that anointing in Jesus' name. Woo. Father, we thank you for this couple. The Lord says, son and daughter, I have given you even a grace for people that are different. You're willing to look at them with a fresh eye. You're not going to uh, uh, condemn them or just say, well, uh, they're not worth anything. But you see value in the ones that others do not. And you've given even your heart over to say, God, I don't want a house. I want a home. I want a place where hospitality reigns. And I'm going to give you that capacity to have that grace of my spirit for all that would come your way. And you're going to have a word in due season. It's not going to have to be the most profound thing that you've ever heard, but it's going to be my heartbeat, says the Lord. It's going to be the simplicity of your faith. It's going to be the clarity of your eyes. It's going to be the genuineness of how you operate that people will say, I know this is real. I know that what God is doing in my life is going to stick and it's going to stay because I've looked into the eyes of those that are bringing his love and I know what only that could mean to me and so the Lord says son and daughter you've walked through some difficult days you've had to kind of let go of some things to be able to move ahead but the Lord says even as you've done there's been a circumcision of your heart and there's been a preparation even for my purposes because your motivations have been have become clear that no one can say you did it for the things or for a name or a claim or money but you did it for me and because of that the sacrifice has been received received and it's prepared the way so father i anoint them right now i loose even the gift of giving father they're going to have an ability to give in all kinds of ways and that your anointing will be upon the gifts that they give father of both tangible and uh, of uh, spiritual and emotional things that will bring great life and hope and advance to many in jesus name hallelujah Father, I thank you, Lord, that you've put the well digging anointing on this woman. Father, she knows how to dig ancient wells, but Lord, she also knows how to dig new wells for your glory. And the Lord says, daughter, I want you to know that you're going to dig the wells of revival in your territory, and you're going to redig the wells of revival in your territory. And I'm going to show you the very places to go and do prophetic acts. Not everybody understands prophetic acts, but the Lord says, daughter, you understand the prophetic prophetic acts that I've given to you to do. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to put on you a turnaround anointing, a turnaround anointing for your territory and a turnaround anointing as I send you into nations. And the Lord says, daughter, everywhere you go, you're going to dig wells for I put a shovel in your hand in the spirit, says the Lord. And sometimes you'll dig it by a prophetic act. Sometimes you'll dig it through worship. Sometimes you'll dig it through prayer. Sometimes you'll dig it through giving and sowing. Sometimes you'll dig it by connecting to the right leaders and putting the shovel in their hand so that they too can dig so father god i loose to her father god lord clarity father in her vision lord that she's going to see the very way to cause crooked places to be made straight and to see every place where the spirit of religion would be uprooted so that revival can come father i loose that to her now in jesus mighty name Father, we anoint this woman of God. I anoint her hands to bring healing even to many hearts and even healing into the land. Father, I declare that she's going to have a word that will begin to open up the gate and begin to cause a fresh move of the spirit to operate. Father, that she is a gatekeeper in the house of the Lord and she's going to prepare the way and open up the way for even many to move into the city, to move in to the places of operation in the church 
church to be able to do what they've been called to do. So, Father, I loose that ability to be able to stand in the right positioning. Father, she doesn't have to be the one that everybody sees, but she wants to be a servant that even opens up for all that you want to release. So, Father, grace her now uh, with that, uh, uh, that ability to be positioned rightly. Father, going before and preparing the way. We anoint her hands for the works of service right now. In Jesus' name, Father, she's raising up servants for you. Father, we just decree that she'll raise up many with that kind of heart and that kind of dedication that they'll do their part. Even behind the scenes, many times, they'll make the difference because they've seen and they've heard the word that has inspired them to move forward and to do uh, that work that is needed, but not always uh, receiving the applause of man. Father, I anoint her for it right now. I break off every word of rejection that even came along the way that tried to say somehow that uh, this work uh, that she does is not uh, worthy. But Father, we break it off now and we loose her with a fresh authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we bless this man and woman right now. Lord, we lay our hands on them. And the Lord says, son and daughter, I have given you a gift to, to know how to multiply and to know how to build. And I am going to begin to activate that gift in a brand new way, says the Lord, for I am breathing favor on you in this season of time. I am breathing favor to bring multiplication to everything that your hands find to do. The Lord says you're going to find that though you've gone through a narrow place, Though you've gone through a season where you felt like you were being squeezed on every hand, the Lord says, I have brought you through the other side of that season, and you are no longer constricted, you are no longer confined, you are no longer in the narrow place, but I'm bringing you now into the days of multiplication and restoration. And I'm going to multiply and restore to you financially. I'm going to multiply and restore to you, says the Lord, in vision. For the Lord says, I didn't just call you to be business people. I called you to be entrepreneurs that birth business after business after business but I've also put that anointing on you to build my kingdom and to build the house of God and the Lord says that you've asked yourselves many times Lord are we business people or Lord are we called to ministry and the spirit of the Lord says the answer is yes the Lord said it's not either or it's both and and I'm going to show you how to effectively be able to do both and to be able to do both well so that you could bring multiplication to my kingdom. So the Lord says, receive it, for I will bring forth out of you an apostolic and a prophetic gift, says the Lord, to build the house of the Lord, but also to build the kingdom of God within the kingdoms of men through the business anointing I've given you. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you've given them the power to get wealth. And I thank you, Father God, they're going to use that wealth, Father God, to build the kingdom of God and, to, and that you will cause all that they do to prosper. We bless them, Lord, with the anointing for multiplication in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this couple. And the Lord says, son uh, and daughter, I have joined you together purposely. You've had to learn how to even align your lives and how to work together even as a team. And I've given you even a wisdom about these things. And even though you've gone through the test, it has required your best. But you've risen up, says the Lord. And the Lord says, son, I've called you a Timothy. Daughter, I've called you an Esther. And I've given you favor. And I've given you a capacity to lead and the ability uh, to to be able to receive from me and to be able to flow under the anointing and to be able to speak the things that set the captive free and I brought you to the kingdom for such a time as this and the Lord says my hand will be heavy upon you in many seasons of your life and you will know that I am visiting you and I am depositing inside of you even that favor and even that fervor of my heart and of my passion and that you will uh, be one that will step up and find that when you do I'll meet you right there and I will come through for you every time I mean, even though it'll be a feeling like you, you feel that intimidation coming against you, but you're going to see the manifestation will overflow the intimidation, and you shall see that I will show up in a powerful way. And the Lord says, son, you shall be uh, one that shall serve and that will uphold and one that will stand even the test of time. And even when you see others come and go, you're going to be one that is continuing to be stable and being w willing to be used of me. And the Lord says, son, don't let uh, that, that way 
wave of sometimes condemnation that comes your way uh, play a game upon your mind because uh, the, the shame is not uh, uh, of you but it's what the enemy wants to do against you and I have called you by my name and you are my son and I have given you even that place and the Lord says every time you operate in faith there is a breaking open of the way for someone else there is even a release of my grace that comes and the Lord says son I'm going to bless you in your home and I'm going to bless you in the things I've given to you even as a family but I'm also going to cause you uh, to be those that have my heart that cares for many that pastoral kind of heart that you're going to have to care for people to love them and help them to grow and the Lord says son and daughter I'll be with you with every step that you take and even though you don't see the full picture yet it seems like it's too great the Lord says just take one step at a time and I'll meet you right there and you'll see it will prepare you for the next phase that I'll call you into in the days ahead now father we anoint them and we thank you for them we release that uh, pastoral grace and that apostolic prophetic anointing that will begin to break open the way in Jesus name Amen. Father, I bless my brother right now. And the Lord says, son, I have put even a, a teacher, a, a mindset about you. You're a student of the word. But the Lord says, I want you to know that even my servant Paul said that I don't come to you with enticing words of men's wisdom, but of demonstration of the spirit and of power. And the Lord says, son, I want you to know that I'm going to make you a man of the word and of power. And I've given you a gift to, to be able to absorb the understanding of the word. I'm going to give you an understanding of language. I'm going to give you an understanding even of the scriptural biblical languages says the spirit of God so that you could dig out the truths and I've made you one that it will search out the treasures says the Lord the treasures of the hidden things even of God and the Lord says son I want you to know that the enemy would try to bring you even into a place where where you would be more comfortable isolated than connected but the Lord says son I want you to know that I've made you a man of connection and I made you a man that would that I would connect even to others in the body of Christ and I'm connecting others around about you and you're going to be a father I put a fatherhood mantle upon you says the Lord a fatherhood mantle that will raise up even other young men that will raise up even the fatherless says the Lord and that will be able to bring correction to them that will be able to bring insight to them that will be able to bring the love of God unconditionally to them and the Lord says son that you're going to help them to find the way and walk in it and the Lord says that even as, as Paul said to Timothy be a follower of me even as I'm a follower of Christ the Lord says so son I'm going to put that fatherhood mantle on you and you're going to be able to say to other young Timothys follow me as I follow Christ now father we thank you God for the mantle of the father's heart father God being released in this man in Jesus name oh hallelujah hallelujah Father, I thank you for this awesome, awesome woman of God. And the Lord says, daughter, if you could only see yourself the way that I see you, because I see you as a priceless piece of jewelry. I see you as a beautiful vessel that I have called to even show forth my glory. And the Lord says, daughter, though you've been harassed in times of your life and you felt like uh, that somehow it left a stain, but the Lord says, no, uh, I have cleansed and set you free and I've called you to be a vessel of honor for me. Me. And you're going to find that uh, even I've called you to even speak truth to many that uh, have been harassed and tormented by the enemy. And you're going to have a word of power and you're going to have a, a ministry of deliverance. And there's going to be that which will be released from people. And it will be sometimes just as it was through my servant Peter where his shadow, uh, just his presence began to bring a deliverance to many. But also I'm going to give you a wisdom and I'm going to give you a heart that will begin to cause people to rise up past their pain and know that this is not their lot in life. This is not what I had in mind for them. And the Lord says, daughter, uh, because you've dealt with some issues of the mind, you're going to see great healing for people that have had diagnosis and people have said about them, this is what you'll have to deal with the rest of your life. But you're going to see some things are going to shift. You're going to even see the minds that have divided are going to be whole again. The things that seemingly are broken are going to begin to be made right. So Father, I loose that anointing and that ministry even of deliverance that will flow. It's not going to be uh, the, uh, like what she thinks uh, of deliverance ministry is going to have a whole new and a different angle and release, but it's going to have a great result for you. And so Father, I anoint her right now and I declare over her own mind peace. Even in the night season, Lord, as was spoken of today, there's going to be a new set of dreams that she's going to receive. It's going to be a whole new deal 
that you're replacing some things and she's going to receive sweet things from you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this sister, Lord, that you've given her, Lord, a call to intercession. And, Father, with that call to intercession, you are equipping her with gifts of discernment, with gifts of words of knowledge, with gifts of insight, Father God, regarding principalities and powers. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Daughter, I want you to know that there was a day the enemy tried to back you off through intimidation. The enemy tried to take you captive, even through some of the thoughts of your mind. But the Lord says, Daughter, I... Uh, was prophetically spoke to you and I broke you out of those strongholds says the Lord and the Lord says daughter as you pray as you speak as you share the Lord says daughter you're going to break other people free from those strongholds too I've given you a gift of faithfulness you know how to grab a hold of the horns of the altar and not let go until you see freedom come and so father I bless this woman of God I bless her father God and her prayers of faith Lord we thank you God for the igniting even of those words that she's prayed father god lord even for her territory and even for generations to see the blessings flow lord we loose that now in jesus name and the lord says daughter i've not just called you to be an intercessor the lord says i've called you to be a mobilizer a mobilizer of intercessors for the lord says daughter i'm going to cause you to mobilize my army my prayer army. I'm going to cause you to mobilize my prophetic army, says the Lord. And the Lord says, daughter, you've been happy to pray as long as somebody else would lead. But the Lord says, daughter, I put a leader anointing upon you and you can run, but they'll just run after you because you're leading. And so the Lord says, daughter, you might as well receive it. You might as well believe it. I put a leadership anointing upon you, says the Lord. And the Lord says, I'm activating it now. I'm going to give you strategies to lead. I'm going to give you strategies to build. I'm going to give you strategies strategies to break through says the Lord and the Lord says daughter you're going to find that when you when you multiply yourself that the work is a lot easier and you've been like a hammer in my hand breaking and breaking like a battering ram beating against the gates of hell the Lord says daughter I want you to know I'm pleased with your breaker anointing but you're going to teach other people how to rise up and break through and you're going to find out that your work is actually easier now the Lord says daughter I'm releasing strength to you because you've been a bit weary now father I just charge her right now God with the joy of the Lord that's her strength God and with supernatural strategies for the new day in Jesus name so we lose fire 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 upon her right now. fire in her hands fire in her mouth Lord in Jesus name hallelujah father right now we decree it's a new time it's a time for a fresh mantle to be loosed father in Jesus name he's trying to get his microphone going there we go all right Hallelujah. Uh, I just see the Lord says, son, I'm going to put a new mantle upon you for a new day. I'm clothing the, you and cloaking you even for uh, a, an authority in the spirit to operate with. And I, I see that you're going to have that capacity to be able to bring a covering over the week and to be able to cause them to feel safe and to know that they can grow and that they can take a step of faith and it's going to be okay. Father, I anoint him. Father, with that updating anointing. Father, I see you sinking him up. I see you cl uh, clearing up some things of the past that were tethers and that were holding him back and then beginning to launch him forward in a new, fresh way where he's going to be unencumbered. Father, I see that indebtedness has to go. I see that things that the enemy has tried to do to try to hold his feet in cement, that you're breaking him loose. And Father, I loose him right now to step into the new day free and unencumbered and be able to operate in the authority that you've called him to walk in for this hour in Jesus name father we put that new mantle upon him for the new day of your anointing and I see that you're going to be a support you're going to be a strength you're going to be able to speak words of encouragement but also to bring your gift and to bring your heart and it's going to be that which will impart even to those that are working hard even that, that next level of strength to be able to move to it in Jesus name amen and the Lord says, son, that I have made you one that loves good. You love that which is good and you hate evil. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to make you a terror to the enemy. I'm going to make you a terror to the enemy. The Lord says the enemy is going to quake in his boots every time he sees you coming because I put that breaking, breaker, berserker anointing on you to be able to break through the enemy's front line. But the Lord says at the same time, you love that which is good. 
good and you've got a teddy bear's heart says the Lord you just love 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 people and the Lord says that love is going to break people free the Lord says son you're going to be able to set people free that are that I have that seem to be unloved they feel unloved they feel unaccepted they feel bound by rejection they feel bound by abandonment and the Lord says son I want you to know that when you walk up to them the demons are going to flee and their hearts are going to be open to receive the bear hug of love that you bring to them says the Lord and that un that unconditional love is going to flow from your heart to theirs and you're going to win many many souls for the kingdom of God the Lord says son I'm going to send you to some hard places with some hard cases and you're going to win them by the love of Christ now father I bless him and we thank you for him in Jesus name Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for that gift of exhortation, that gift of impartation that's going to flow even through this awesome woman of God. Father, I loose now her mind to receive with clarity the vision of God and even the faith that she knows that it's not just the words that she's releasing, but it's going to be that which is imparted of your spirit that begins to bring people to the next level. Now, in Jesus' name, Father, we just decree right now, I I speak rest over her, Father, that she's going to be able to just trust and have that rest of faith in a reality uh, that, Lord, as she goes about doing what she's called to do, you're going to just be uh, like that battery that just gets charged. The more you use it, the more she's going to get charged. That, Father, uh, she's uh, going to run and not grow weary. We loose right now that reality to her and that gift of faith in Jesus' name. Father, we take that gift that you've given to us. So we lose it <laughs> in Jesus name. Amen. Father, I just thank you right now, God, that there is a freshness of the Holy Spirit, Lord, coming upon this woman. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Daughter, I want you to understand that this has been a time that I've been digging up some of the old things, and I've been getting ready to plant a new crop in you, says the Lord. The Lord says the winter is past. The Lord says that your winter is past, your season where you didn't feel like anything really grew, when you didn't feel like anything really produced. The Lord says, Daughter, I want you to know that springtime is here. And I'm giving you a gift of hope, says the Lord. A gift of hope that breaks the spirit of hopelessness. A gift of hope that breaks the spirit of helplessness. And the Lord says, daughter, you're going to have a gift of encouragement that is going to exhort and encourage others in their faith. Exhort and encourage others to rise up. And sometimes it's going to be like a prophetic key coming out of your mouth that's going to open up the hardened heart because of the revelation that I bring to you and through you. Father, we anoint you right now, God. God, with that Holy Ghost gift, that Holy Ghost encouragement, that Holy Ghost exhortation, Father God, that brings people into their destiny in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the anointing right now. Father, that which you have given, that which you have released, even Father, he's sensed it in his heart. Father, he's known that he has an important part to play. Now, Father, Lord, uh, we just ask that he would begin to feel the value and the reality and the de declaration of your heart toward him. Father, in every season, there would just be a growing and a shining of the glory upon his life. And that, Father, that transformation, impartation that he has received he will flow freely in and that he will have faith for those uh, that are hopeless and uh, that feel helpless father that he will stand in that place to release your grace to them again and again we anoint him now in Jesus name father we loose right now the goodness of God Father, we just thank you right... Oh, he needs translation. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Father, I bless this man of God right now. And Lord, we just activate the words of knowledge and words of wisdom. Lord, he's always going to have the right word in due season. He's always going to have that right prophetic perspective. Lord, both with his ministry inside the church, as well as with connection with people in the world. Lord, that he's going to deliver words from your heart that will be like apples from your throne. And so, Father, we just release to him, Father, clear prophetic sight. 
And Lord, we stir up that prophetic seer anointing. Vi bara väcker upp det profetiska synen nu i Jesu namn. Lord, that seer prophet anointing. Den seer profet salvelsen. In Jesus name. I Jesu namn. And Lord, I thank you for my sister. Does she need translation? Okay. No, no, Father, I thank you for my sister, Lord, that she's got an anointing for dreams. I thank you, Father God, that she's going to dream spiritual dreams. Father, that they're going to be dreams that will ignite her intercession. Lord, they're going to be dreams that are going to show her, Father God, even things that she needs to know to pray. And Father God, she, it's going to bring her closer and closer to an understanding, Father God, of the promises of your word. Lord, I thank you, God, that every, Lord, even when she was a child, Father God, those, those nightmares that stirred up around her father are being broken off and Lord she's going to clearly see and clearly hear in Jesus name Father, we just decree that wisdom of God. Father, I decree even that word of counsel and that word of wisdom that you would give even uh, in due season for those that would be looking for answers. Lord, that you're going to give them, as you said, by your Holy Spirit, the right things to say at the right time. And that, Lord, they're going to study and show themselves approved, but they're going to also move even in the anointing of revelation and that the prophetic will flow through them sometimes in a very dynamic way, but many times it'll be in a casual setting that they're just going to share and say this is what I feel the Lord has to say and they're going to share it in a way that will cause people to feel at ease but yet you're going to sneak up on them and you're going to begin to move powerfully into their hearts and into their lives and into their family Father I see that they're going to have wisdom about family and wisdom even about children and even how to operate to bring things into right alignment to cause even that strength to come that's needed to be able to exhibit what you're doing in this generation I anoint them right now, Father, for this season in their life that all that they have walked through will now be even that which would be even nuggets of gold. It would be uh, that which would be uh, precious things that they would offer uh, even from your heart that they have received that they can give freely. And so, Father, I anoint them in it, that mothering, that fathering heart to be used for you again and again in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we bless this whole family. Is all family? Father, we bless this whole family right now, Lord. We thank you, God, for your anointing and your giftings. I'm going to start with the littlest one. And, and the Lord says that I have actually given her the anointing like I gave to Samuel. When Samuel was a little boy, Samuel heard the voice of the Lord and responded. And even at this very early age, already she's beginning to be sensitized to the spirit realm. She's actually already starting to see things uh, that um, you thought was maybe just her overactive imagination. Imagination, but she's actually seeing angels in the spirit realm. She's very, very sensitive to things of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord says that I'm going to make her strong and I'm going to make her discerning and I'm going to give mom and dad lots of wisdom in raising her to know how to use this gifting without shutting it down. So, Father, we thank you, God, for this little, pro this little prophetic anointing that's over her life. And I bless her now in Jesus' name. Father, I bless my sister right now. And the Lord says, daughter, I've given you a heart that knows how to connect with others hearts and sometimes you've felt a little bit lonely like people don't always understand you but the spirit of the Lord says daughter I want you to know that I've given you a heart that's very sensitive to the needs of other people's hearts and I'm going to give you really really good friends really really good friends that are going to be really really good for you says the Lord and you're going to be really really good for them and there's going to be a, a bond of friendship that's going to last most of your life says the Lord and the Lord says daughter I want you to know that even now the Lord says that I am even causing you to come to a place of settledness in waiting on the timing of the Lord. I've actually made you very sharp in the spirit. I've made you very, very sharp in natural things too. I've given you a very sharp mind and a very understanding mind. And, and the Lord says, daughter, I want you to know that even the things of the spirit are not going to feel foreign to you or frightening to you because the Lord says, daughter, I'm going to make you a dreamer of dreams and you're going to hear the voice of the Lord and it's going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of joy to your, to your friends as well. Father, I bless the mama who's wrestling 
dealing with the baby. <laughs> and I thank you, God, for the gifts that are within her. And the Lord says, daughter, I want you to know that I'm releasing a gift of healing into you first, says the Lord. And then the gift of healing is going to flow through you. The Lord says, daughter, the healing gift is coming in and it's beginning to adjust some of the chemical levels in your body. It's beginning to adjust some of the circuitry in your mind, says the Lord, in your brain. Sometimes you just feel just so worn out and it's not just because you have a little child. It's like there's some kind of a chemical in your body that's not in right balance and the Lord says daughter I'm releasing healing anointing into you says the Lord and then healing anointing is going to flow through you and there's been some dreams that you kind of felt went, went by the wayside and the Lord says daughter don't give up in your dreams I made you a dreamer says the Lord I made you a woman that had not just night dreams but dreams of the future dreams of the things for the future and the Lord says daughter I want you to know that I've seen those dreams and I hold those dreams and just because you feel like it's taken taking longer than you thought doesn't mean I don't still have it on my agenda says the Lord for the Lord says daughter I burned some things in your heart when you were young says the Lord and you're still young but the Lord says <laughs> uh, but I put it in your heart even when you were young and the Lord says daughter I'm not a God that will tell you a story and leave you hanging the Lord says daughter I know how to fulfill all those dreams so the Lord says I've given you an anointing and an ability to bring healing to broken hearts and to break the yoke of oppression sometimes you just feel like you're fighting against something that you don't even know how to get a hold of it but the Lord says I'm giving you great authority over the spirit of confusion and over the spirit of oppression it sits over wherever you live wherever that place is the two of you need to go home and anoint your house anoint your land anoint where you live because there's going to come a breakthrough against that territorial spirit that wants to bring confusion and oppression over you and you're going to find that wow we're living in an open heaven and sometimes you feel like wow Lord it just seems so much easier when we go other places and then we come home and it all comes back it's because it's over that area and the Lord says but I will give you an open heaven over your home and I will give you an open heaven over your life says the Lord because I'm putting great authority in your mouths to begin to see it extend and expand even throughout your territory so father I bless them I thank you God for the authority that's in this woman in Jesus name I just see where the Lord says, son, I made you to be a tree of righteousness, to be one that would hold a standard high. And there's been times when you've been tested and you've had to rise up. And at times it felt like it was not the easiest thing to do right. But the Lord says, son, I've been with you every step that you've chosen me. I have brought a blessing even over you and over your family. And the Lord says, son, I've given you a wisdom. You are a dreamer of dreams. You see things and you get excited and you want to see things uh, even in a creative way take place. But I've also given you a practical grace. And the Lord says, I'm going to show you how to even implement dreams. And you're going to be a part of helping many see things come into fruition where they work the plan until my hand begins to move on their behalf. And so I've given you a steadfastness and I've asked you to have a patient spirit. And I've put within your heart even that ability to teach and to be able to help people along systematically. And so you're going to see that there's going to be seasons where I will use you and you feel like things aren't changing but you're imparting and parting and parting it's like sowing the seed into the ground but the Lord says the patience is in waiting until it sprouts and it comes out until the fruit is born and the Lord says son I've made you a man that will be stable all the days of your life I've called you to having done all continue to stand and don't think others are passing you by and you've been left out but the Lord says you're pay, playing your part and it's an important thing for you for your family and for many so father I I anoint him and I grace him in all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Father, we thank you for this awesome couple. And the Lord says, son, I put a warrior spirit within you. And sometimes people say he's meek, he's mild, but there's a strength inside of you. And there's a capacity to even have a fierceness uh, come alive inside of you when you see things are going in the wrong way and the enemy's trying to do his thing. And I've given you that capacity to know how to intervene and know how to be able to instigate and be a catalytic force to be able to bring change so that things begin to shift rightly in the atmosphere sphere and in people's hearts. I see where you're going to have a real clarity about uh, what's happening with people. It's like it's going to just come alive inside of you and you're going to know they need this now. And the Lord says you're going to be Johnny on the spot. You're going to be quick uh, to move with me. In fact, there's been some hesitancy in the times past because you kind of said, I don't know for sure. But the Lord says you don't have to know for sure. You just have to know the beginning of faith. And as you move, I'll show you the rest of the way. And I see that there's you're going to be a man of multiple graces. 
services. You're going to have a lot of many faceted uh, anointing of God. And you're going to find yourself being stretched sometimes uh, all directions at once. But the Lord says, that's okay. You're going to expand your borders and you're going to see that I'm going to meet you every one of these angles at the same time. Uh, and it's going to be because you're stretched all at the same time that your capacity is going to be increased because you're going to oversee things in the days ahead. You're going to be responsible for many people and many things. And the Lord says, don't be afraid of that because that apostolic grace that I put upon you is not something that's high and mighty. It's a real release of me into the heart of what I want to have done. And you're going to just simply flow in it. It's not like you're going to say someday, oh, I've got to go do this. You're going to just be doing it and you're going to grow into it. And you're going to know that, hey, uh, this is what I was made for. Okay. Because God put it inside of you already. And I see that uh, you're going to be disarming. It's like the enemy doesn't even uh, kind of discount. So I don't know. Nothing's going to take place. And then you're going to show up and you're going to do things. People won't even know. It was a, well, it's even here. And then all of a sudden things are going to happen and you're going to be called upon. You're going to step up in a amazing ways and things are going to flow out of you. I see God's going to use your mouth more than you realize where you're going to teach, you're going to prophesy, and you're going to speak. And God says he's anointed your tongue and he's going to be used powerfully. There's even a sound and a song and there's things are going to be birthed out of you that's going to be powerfully used of the Lord and that you guys are called to be a team together. You come so far already, but just get ready. It's a foundation for the future of the Lord uh, moving in your life. And Lord, I take whatever you've put on my life, Lord, and I put it on her life right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for that double portion anointing. Father God, for the anointing of the prophet, for the anointing of the apostolic, Father God, for the anointing to teach and preach, for the anointing to be a dreamer of dreams, Father God, for the anointing to write. Father, I thank you, God, that all of these things, Father God, are within this Deborah, Father. I thank you, Lord God, that you married her to the perfect man for her, Father God, that would release her in the giftings and the talents and the abilities of God. But Lord, I thank you, Father God, that she is going to burn brightly with fire, with boldness, with courage, with confidence. And Father, in the days to come, Lord, you're going to send this couple, Father God, Lord, into nations all over the world, Father God. And the Lord says, son and daughter, I want you to know I've got you in a hot house here. The Lord says a hot house is a place that no matter what season it is, you can grow and you can grow rapidly. And the Lord says, I've got you in a rapid season of growth says the spirit of the Lord because I need you to be ready for the things that I've called you to and the Lord says that even your family members have tried to discourage you and say don't think more of yourself than you should you don't have all that in you but the Lord says son and daughter I know what I put in you and I know what I did when I joined the two of you together so the Lord says son and daughter don't don't be running too running too quickly says the Lord let me do the work of uh, preparation let me do that work of development but the Lord says that I'm going to take you like a slingshot and sling you out says the spirit of the Lord all over this nation and even to the nations of the earth father with boldness and authority and with the team ministry capacity like you put on my husband and myself father we bless them and we thank you for them Lord in Jesus name amen Oh, Father, we thank you right now for that grace upon this man of God. The Lord says, you're a vessel that I can fill up freely to overflow. And you're going to be one that everywhere you go, this, the anointing is going to splash out of you. And you're going to find that not only have I anointed you to carry my presence, but I've given you a kingly anointing. Like David of old, he knew how to be in my presence and worship. But he also knew how to oversee and to govern and take care of things. And the Lord says, son, there's royal seed inside of you. And you're going to exhibit my glory and my majesty, says the Lord. So, Father, I just anoint him right now with fresh oil. And with new wine. With new wine. <laughs> and he's going to find that the joy of the Lord is his portion continually. Oh, come on, give the Lord a hand clap Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Let's all stand up and just stretch oss, your hands up. Hallelujah. Father, we receive your anointing right now. Far, vi din we receive your words, oh God. Vi tar emot dine ord, Herre. We receive the impartation, oh God. Og vi tar del, Herre. We let the seed find good soil. Og vi lar finne god jord. We let the seed receive the water of the word. Og vi lar Now let it sprout and come alive and bear fruit for you. Give the Lord a shout. Hey! Oh, hey! Hallelujah! Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Det är fantastiskt det. Det också kunde stå slik och bara betjäna och betjäna och tjäna och tjäna. Vi har sett en del profeter som på måte på måte efter vart ger upp denna personliga betjäningen alltså. det har jag sett. Men det är så därför så starkt för mig också. Jag ser bara upplever det så mäktig och alltså Tom och Jane at de bare fortsetter å tjene den enkelte og få løse gaver, betjener inn i... Det, det er bare så mektig å se. For eh, det er ikke alle som fullfører den delen av løpet. Så det er fantastisk. Tusen, tusen takk. Vi skal ha en pause nå. Etter hvert blir det jo middag også, fordi dette er en samling hvor vi faktisk har også fellesskap sammen. Så det gleder vi oss til. Jeg tror at kanskje mange kunne tenke sig dette som nå skjedde på en DVD, vil jeg kanskje tro. Men eh, vi, eh, vi, vi tyckte upp 15 av den forrige, fordi det var 12 hender oppe, og der er det nästan alle igen. Så eh, hvis du rekker opp den hånden, så måtte ikke du rekke den for å si hej. Men eh, det var bare at eh, den DVD'en skal du ha for att jobbe med, og på en måte, for det har noe med det. Det, det å motta gaver, det å motta profetier, du fortsätter att bevege dig, du fortsätter att forberede dig, du fortsätter att tro Herren, du fortsätter att be, och du justerer dig der du trenger justering, så vil, og så skal du ikke forsøke å hjelpe Gud, men du kommer in i timingen, hvor Herren och du sammen, hvor han virker overnaturlig der du ikke sterker til i det naturlige, men du gör sannelig din del. Det är viktigt. Det är väldigt glädjligt för mig. Eh, vi tar bara någon få minuter. Alltså jag har haft flera av dere som har kommit och sagt att vet du vad denna modulen du har i sommar den ska jag gå. Det var så morsamt att du sa det du sa igår för på väg upp hit i bilen så sa vi till han jag tror ikke vi ska ta den syden ferien allikevel i år. Men jag tror Gud har något annat för oss. Så var det någon som sa här til hverandre i bilen og så kommer jeg med det eksempelet fordi at det er noen ting å være under en eh, salvelse et mandat fra mandag til lørdag og bli utrustet i standsatt og bli forløst så jeg har fortsatt noen plasser for den ukeskolen som er nå til sommeren 27. juli til 1. august og så har vi fortsatt noen plasser til Sharon Stone som kommer i august. Så flere har også meldt seg på den. Det er veldig fint. Det er nå at vi blir avhengige. Gjør vi ikke det av å tjene? Vi blir avhengige av å bare fortsette å gå med Gud. Derfor er det noen av våre folk som har gått 18 moduler. Og Edvin som sitter bak der, han sa «Jeg må bare gå en ny modul». Jeg tror han har gått ganske mange før. Men det er nå, du blir avhengig av å gå disse halvårsmodulene som vi da har nå igjen til høsten. Og den tror jeg blir veldig spennende, fordi den inneholder også noen nye elementer rundt dette her med veiledning, sjelesorg og så videre. Så... Ta gjerne kontakt med mig eller er, hvis det er noen som skal gå den skolen til Østen som har meldt seg på rekke opp din hånd, så kan du spørre noen av disse, fordi eh, jeg har ikke blitt kvitt dem enda. Ikke det at jeg forsøker så mye, men eh, dere forstår. Altså, de er avhengige av å tjene. Så spør dem, eller spør mig 
om det och så är er det någon här som har regionala salvelser en någon av dere har jag fått snakket med men vi har nå sett att i, I Rogaland så är er det eh, klar för en mönstring vi har sett att det har er blivit etablerat nu i Hordaland det är er blivit etablerat nu i Östfold det har er blivit etablerat nu i Vestfold och vi är er ju här och representerar Buskerud men jag vet jag känner i min an att det är er någon här som bär något du har inte tänkt på det men du bär en regional salvelse för ditt område och vi tror att det är er nå som det är er en tid för oss att koble till och för oss så är er det det att vi har också blivit löst för vi så en period att vi skulle göra utrustningscentre brölne lam men vet du vad det är er att vi mer gläder oss över oss och förlösa tjänster i de olika områden och se att de bär någonting och så tror jag det är er viktigt att vi fortsätter med den nationella samlingarna hvor vi då inviterar som vi har gjort de sista tre åren eh inviterat då eh, Christian International och det kommer vi fortsätta till att göra och nästa år så tror jag faktiskt det är er modent att vi också tar emot eh, biskop Bilhamen. Amen. Ska vi stå för det? Ja. Vi 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 gör det. Han vill gärna komma och vi tar det skritt i tro och sammen för nästa år. Så ska vi bara allerede nå börja och förbereda det för en powerpack som det blir. Ho För nordiska nationer, jag tror vi ska stå i tro för att hela den gängen fra Danmark kommer och vi får någon svensker över. Vi får någon fra Färöarna och Island och Zoom i Finland. Så, så har vi en nordisk powerpack när apostlarna och profeterna kommer samman. Det jag tror vi ska bara tala det ut nu och erklära det. Vi gör det som en erklaring. Nästa år så är er det ett nytt nivå. Därför så går vi i vidare på hej. Amen. Så då är er det bara att kosa dere för vi då har kvällssamlingen här. Amen.